The Sonic Crossbow is considered one of the rarest legendary weapons in Hoplite Battle Royale, as it requires items from an extremely rare ancient city. However, today, I may have stumbled across one, then found an absolutely insane glitch. However, I also had to face a very stacked player who got to this ancient city first, and looting the city ended up being very dangerous. So will I manage to be the last one standing? Stay tuned to find out. And if you're in the 90% of people who aren't subscribed, you should definitely hit that button to join the Before 200k Club. And now, let's begin. Okay, welcome back to Hope Light Battle Royale. I kind of waited too long for a structure this game, so we're going to be doing things the old-fashioned way this time. Let's go ahead and mine for a stone pickaxe. Then let's make a stone axe. And my plan this game is to go for the lucky rodcraft and fish for as long as I can before PvP. Then hopefully catch something good like an enchanted book or some kind of OP bow. And there is also potential for me to craft the pufferfish cannon later on if I get some gunpowder. So this could be a pretty interesting game. And now I'm just going to go mining as fast as I can. So I'm just going to mine all of these veins of iron that I see. We have some lapis right here. Okay. What the heck? I was so confused with what that was. I thought there was a giant mushroom in my cave, but it's somebody with the mushroom hat cosmetic. Okay, we have some competition in this cave. This guy's gonna try and race me, and he's gonna go for that iron. Well, I'm onto bigger things, okay? Let's see if there's any diamonds. He's just gonna chase me. Oh my, he does not want me to find stuff before him. Okay, nothing here. He's following me again. If I mind this, what's he gonna do? Okay, he's finally left me. And we have a giant vein of iron right here. Not bad, not bad. What I'm gonna do seems excessive, but I'm gonna make three buckets and take two lavas with me because I can actually do an obsidian trap on him if I manage to get him in like a corner. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, there's a creeper. Interesting. I mean, didn't drop any gunpowder though. Okay, if I go through this way, this takes me to a different area of the cave with diamonds. Yo, I don't know if he's following me right now, but I'm just gonna grab this as fast as I can. Oh, but dude, it's only a one vein. That is slightly unfortunate. More iron here. And I should be getting pretty close to having all of the iron I need to start fishing. So I'll quickly search the rest of this cave. And I think the final thing I'll get is just this iron and this copper. And we are back on the surface. Okay, so all I gotta do to start fishing is make myself some shears. Let's also get these chickens as well, just for some extra arrows. What is going on here? Is this guy about to do what I think he's about to do? What is he doing? <laughs> Oh my god, I have no idea what's going on. I thought he was just gonna pillar up and like jump off until he died, but he's now looking at the ground. I could probably get an obsidian trap on this guy. I don't know what he is planning, but let's grab this. Let's also grab some sand. <laughs> yes. I got him. Oh my god. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay, well, we have a play ahead now. Um, rest in peace, Shred Wheat. They were the Trapper Kit. Oh my god, they had a Fortune 2 book. What? Well, Pufferfish Cannon is not happening anymore. I am literally just putting this on a pickaxe and going caving. There is no other way to play this game apart from doing that. I could get so many diamonds, dude. Oh my god, that is crazy. So what I want to do is get some coordinates where people probably aren't going to be mining. So I'm going to run this way. Really quick, I'm just going to collect as much leather as I can. Because I want to make an enchant table and I also want to make a bundle. Honestly, like, I think that's probably all I need. I'll just go for, like, sharp two diamond. The main thing I want to do is find as many diamonds as physically possible. So if I just go ahead and make a chest, we can make a bundle, and then I can put all of these items inside. This is just such a crazy game. And if I go into this forest, I feel like less people cave in these. And this cave is looking pretty good. It also does look unlooted. Yup, we have some iron right here. Awesome. It's dropping down to diamond level already. Okay. This game has a lot of potential. Let's just go ahead and do this. And then can I put the fortune? I can. Okay. Fortune 2, smelt his pickaxe. Oh, there's a mine shaft too. Then what I might even do is uh, make an Ares Blessing. I have two player heads? How did I get the first one? I'm going to make two Ares Blessings. I'm just going to do it. These give you very random items. They can be good or bad. We will see. Okay. We get a Protection 3 book and 16 gold. I will definitely take that. Okay. Then I can also mine this. Oh, the fortune works on iron. That's crazy. This looks like a man-made water source. That's actually a little bit worrying. There could definitely be someone in this cave. Let's just go ahead and like make sure I have enough iron for everything. Also make full iron armor, iron sword, and then we can make that a short sword. There's a very good chance that somebody's actually in this cave. Short bow, there we go. I can't see any placed blocks though. That's the one interesting thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I see placed blocks. Okay, since this cave's looted, I'm actually gonna do something kind of interesting. 
So I'm just going to make a nether portal here. And if I travel straight back through to the overworld, this will take me straight back to the surface. One, two, three. And I could also see if there's a player I want to fight straight away, just in case there's like an easy kill I can get. I should also grab enough to get bundled arrows here. Okay, that's 40 arrows. I think that's enough. And now finally we can go through. Okay, are there any gamers nearby? I do not see anybody. That's some place blocks though. Yeah, let's head back to the overworld. This should take me to the surface. There we go. And then I'm going to try to run to somewhere. The people haven't caved out, which I think honestly is just this part. Okay, I'm going to go down this one. I'm kind of far out, kind of close to the border. And it does not look looted so far. Yeah, this cave's looking pretty good to be fair. What the hell? Oh my god, there's just no way. Why does this game keep taking the craziest turns ever? This changes literally everything. If I can get the stuff for the Skulk crossbow, that would just be insane. I also don't even think this is looted. Let's just see if I can like jump into this. Here we go. And we have candles, I will take it. The strategy for these is to uh, be as loud as possible, but move quickly. <laughs> I don't think that's actually the strategy, but that's just what I do. I mean, I could scout for diamonds that are exposed here. Okay, I see a chest up there. There's one here too. Let's just go for it. We got glowberries, nothing really, and nothing there. Oh, it is looted. What the heck? Okay, I guess I just got to get out of here then. See if this chest is looted. Yup. Okay, maybe I can find the player who looted it though. Okay, I think I might have to just leave. I'm just gonna go. As soon as I see a cave, we're going. And goodbye. Okay, hopefully this is unlooted. Because this is looking pretty promising. Bro, I just cannot believe what is going on this game. This is just the craziest hoplite game I have ever played. Somebody's actually looted this. What the heck? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go nether and reset again. Because like, this cave is just looted. All I need is some diamonds and then I'm basically set. So it really is just worth me finding... A good cave before I start fighting. I need to use this Fortune 2 book, dude. Okay, we're in the nether and we are leaving the nether. What the heck? I am in an interesting cave here. I mean, this might be unlooted. Let's just eat this Halloween candy so I don't run out of sprint. I have Hero of the Village. Interesting. Then if I just dig down, does it bring me to anything? Oh my god. And it's looted again! <gasps> Bruh, this entire map has been ransacked. This is crazy. And I guess it might just be the best play to start fighting people. But if I could just find one vein of diamonds, I would be so set. Maybe somehow some people missed a vein. Oh my. Finally, dude. Okay. I have five diamonds. What? What is going on? He's in lava. Shot him. Oh my god, that's the guy who found the ancient city. Oh my god. Fire aspect one sword. Multi-shot book. Okay, this is just, this is going to be insane. Echo shard. All right. Where's my bundle at? Everything's going in the bundle. Mending, I'm breaking three diamond leggings. Literally everything is going in the bundle. Okay. Fire aspect one. I still have my protection three, which I can put on those mending leggings. Protection three, done. So much Halloween candy, regeneration potions. I also have books for enchanting bottles. Okay, then how do I make the Skulk crossbow? Because that could be just insane. Echo shard, two diamonds, crossbow, firework star. Don't I have gunpowder? I actually think I can do this. Tripwire hook is one wood, one stick, one of these. There we go. Then I need two string, which I already have. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here. Tripwire hook, one of these. Okay. And then gunpowder. Make this into blue dye. Make this into a firework star. Then I need the echo shards. I need the disc fragments. And I can actually make it. Oh my what? is going on. All right, let's drink another regen 2 pot. I can also make this multi-shot. Can I actually do that? Oh my god. I don't even know if that's ever been done by somebody, but apparently it works. Okay, 
Now, I want to make an enchant table, but I don't have any water for it, so I could look around, but I guess we can also just do it on surface if I need to. Actually, with how much iron I have, it might just be the best play. Make three more buckets, and then just grab all of this and make enchants as soon as I go to the surface, because if I can make my sword, like, sharp three, then that's just going to be insane. Only 11 people left. There's going to be some really stacked people, so I have no idea how OP this thing is going to be, but we still have a long way to go. I need that sharp three, basically. What I can do right now is just make all of my bottles of enchanting so that I can make the shop three really quick. And then I can make healing as soon as I get to the surface as well. All right, and then we can go ahead and craft obsidian, another obsidian, another one, and another one. Do this, do this. I'm going to start by enchanting my armor here. Protection one, shop one, throw a ton of these down. Shop one, shop one. Okay, now all I have to do is do fire aspect one, shop one, fire aspect one, shop two. Okay, not going to lie, I don't think I have enough to make it shop three. I can combine these together. It's going to be 15 or 11. Okay, it's time to do some fighting and then hopefully I can get all the levels I need. If I can just get one apple here, I'll be happy. Okay, one light apple. It's whatever. Yo, I have a diamond hole with efficiency four. This means I can get apples. Let's go. I just do not want to get backstabbed right now. I also basically need to get a good kill before DM because in DM, I think I'm going to get targeted pretty hard for this weapon. Dude, Farallon has a dragon katana. This is not looking good. In the meantime, I'm just going to mine for levels because if I somehow get 11, then I can make my sword shop three. And I think I'm also just going to put a bit of this candy in the bundle. We have regen pots there. Buckets are pretty useful. Okay, I think I'm ready. Is there anyone who's a free kill? Nate? WL. I can't see that guy. He's on like a tiny bit of health, but I'm just going to go for the healing and the diamonds. I'm not going to reveal my crossbow yet. Let's just go for mid. Oh my god. Farallon's going in with the dragon katana. That's not good. That is really not good. Oh my god, he's on eight. Okay, it's on a cooldown, but it's loaded. Okay, I got him. Oh my god. But all the loot exploded. What? Oh, this is bad. Dude, this explodes all the loot? Okay, dude. My only choice is to just... Oh my god, this is not good. Okay, Jar Jar is on 10. I'm just gonna run and hope that I can get sweep this loot. What is on the floor here? Diamond Sword. Diamond pants, diamond boots, oh boy. Emerald sword shop too, 8.5, 7.5, okay. I need to be able to sweep this guy's stuff. 10 levels right now. What's this guy on? Okay. Oh my god, this damage is crazy. <laughs> Farallon just got the kill though. I think he's gonna have the loot, okay. He just stole the heads. Okay, well, the only option, I'm gonna shift at this guy. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> but I'm not gonna go for him anymore. The thing is, this thing hits really hard, but its reload time is like kind of insanely high. I'm not too sure what I can do right here. I essentially just have to somehow, oh, let's just see if I can sweep any loot. Let's try to get Farallon really low as well. I'm just gonna keep like going for him with the skull crossbow and hopefully we can just run him out of teleporting charges. Damn! <laughs> I just gotta prepare to sweep this loot. Oh my god. Nah. Dude, I just get speed and regen every single time I hit them with this. I just gotta I keep using it. it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't even have a regular bow. I'm literally just gonna run, hit him with this, and then run off. I kinda have to like dual wield the emerald sword. Oh my god, I hit like both of them. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go for me at some point. I don't know how much his patience is gonna hold up. I'm gonna have to like get some crits on him. Oh boy. Dude. He's on 29. I just need to keep staying back. I don't have the healing to do anything. Oh, ball on the ground. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure I only eat Halloween candies if I do need to heal. I'm hiding here. Okay, we got another one. Oh boy. Bruh, what is he doing? Okay, I just gotta clear up my inventory. Make sure I'm ready to sweep swiftness right there. Oh my god, he's on 19. 
Oh no, he's going for me. I kind of just crossbowed myself. Okay, Barrelin's on 26. He's on 41 again. I just want to eat Halloween candy for now. I'm getting very low on healing now. Barrelin's on 27. Okay. Reload it. Barrelin's 27. Twenty-three. Fourteen? Where did he even go? Okay, then twenty-two. Oh boy, I just did not mean to shoot at that. Dude, I just need to stay alive. This is not good. I'm being bowed up. This might be the end, guys. Farallon's on 23. Oh no. He's on 19. Don't go for me! They're fighting. No! He's on 18. Oh, dude. GG. I just didn't have enough healing, man. That crossbow was actually insane, though. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Getting multi-shot and a skulk crossbow is one of the rarest things possible. So that was a pretty crazy game. Check out the other videos on screen if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you later. Peace.